hello everyone in this video I'll be telling you about Google charts so what are Google charts actually so Google charts are the library for building charts in your normal application so how can we build that for building a chart in by using Google you just need to search in the Google Google charts so you'll get the documentation there by that you can learn all these things but we'll be creating a normal pie chart here first you have to go to this charts Google, uh, Google developers then you can click on this get started or you can see the chart gallery like what kind of charts you can create actually basically all the charts are there so here you can see that it is suggesting us that how we can actually start that so we just need this this line of code for actually writing our uh, JavaScript code in that so when if we copy this link which is a CDN actually so if you copy this in a normal application then we'll be able to write our charts here so you have to paste that in the head now we can easily write our code for normal pie chart so let me just copy the same thing and show you what I want to actually create that so I can copy this script tag and paste it here now let's understand that also the HTML we can write any ID here let me just copy paste the same thing and make you understand what I meant actually now if I go to my page you can see that it is actually created so how it is actually working so it is basically uh, created with the help of this JavaScript code we wrote here let's understand that what is that actually so this line of code is actually loading uh, the API first so we are actually loading a package in our JavaScript or this index.html file which is code chart in this package all the charts uh, like pie chart and the other charts will be present and then we are setting a, a drawback in the as a callback function so in this we are actually setting uh, in this we are actually telling the Google that I, ha I have this function you have to execute this as a main function in which I have written all the code for creating the pie chart so basically that is for that then after that in this function you can write any function here like you can name it name it anything draw chart or anything then after that we are actually creating a table which is very important because before creating any chart you have to create a table and with the help of that table Google will create uh, the specific chart whether it be pie chart bar chart or anything so this is very important in this we actually created one object by using Google dot visualization class and then we access this method which is data table which is responsible for creating this data object in which we can use some methods to add some columns and rows so this is the object in which we are actually calling this method add column and in this we are specifying the type as a string and then uh, this type uh, is for like the, what kind of value can be stored in that column it is for that and then we are actually specifying the name of the column for example topping if you want the topping uh, name you can write the topping here uh, in the example it was topping so it is uh, topping here then we are again using this same method for creating one more column because a table contains uh, columns and rows that's why we are adding this column here so any number of column you can add but remember if you're adding two columns here so in every row you have to uh, create two items in single uh, array so basically you can see that in this array of array uh, 
uh, in this we have created two values we have given it two values one is the mushroom which is a string value we specified for topping and then we specified a number for slices so this number is three if we are if we added three uh, columns here for example one more column then we have to add one more value to it in this array and similarly we are repeating it for multiple values uh, and then uh, the google will actually uh, count the average and the percentage of that and then it will show into the pie chart this is for this and we can also set some chart options here just like you can see that options and this is nothing but an object inside that we have specified the title what kind of title you want in your uh, pie chart for example you can see that this is the title of the pie chart you can write anything here and then we are specifying the width and the height then this line of code is actually creating the pie chart here so now you can see that we are using uh, the google dot visualization class again and instead we are creating one more method we are using the one more method which is pie chart just like we used a data table in the visualization class similarly we use this one the pie chart uh, method which actually will create uh, one pie chart which requires the element in which we want uh, the chart to be inserted so for example in this div we want then we call this one here so we call document dot get element by id in the chart underscore div then after creating this object and storing that into one chart then we actually uh, use the method draw for actually drawing the pie chart this created earlier it created only the object now we are actually using this draw method which will create the pie chart for for us in the draw method we specify two values one will be the data which we need to actually specify in the chart or represent in the chart then we have to specify the options we specified for example title width and height and this code is the last one and after that it created this uh, chart here similarly we can create the other charts as well this one is for the uh, pie chart uh, you just created this method which is pie chart added this method similarly we can call the other methods such as bar chart or any anything we want so you can see that it is telling us that if you want to create pie chart then you have to write this one and if you want to create a bar chart then you have to use a bar chart method so if you write bar chart here instead of pie chart then let's see what happens now you can see that it is actually creating the bar chart for us but you can see that it is uh, wrapping this up like uh, the width is not properly uh, having that so you can specify more width there for example 700 or more height you can specify you can see that it is actually showing us the thing so this is actually the bar chart and the pie chart which is very easy to understand if you go to the documentation and if you want to add more things here so you can see that many things are there you can explore all these docs and understand what those uh, things are you can also add some cool animations and toolbars as well so different kinds of uh, charts can also be added like line charts also so you can add line chart can chart anything you can write so if we go through the documentation you will get the all you will get the idea that what is the thing also this method is also used to directly add the content like if you don't want to create columns and rows separately so you can also use this one uh, the other one yeah this one so you can see that you can directly use this uh, kind of approach as well like uh, in uh, in earlier one in this one in our code we were actually creating the columns and the rows separately like uh, add column add column and then add rows but you can also write this one which is google dot visualization array to data table so uh, it will directly create the data table with the help of an array 
inside that we have to specify the first array which is nothing uh, but the uh, headings for our data table and then there is other arrays which will be containing the values for them like these one so by this uh, we don't have to actually write uh, multiple times add column add column multiple times we don't have to call that uh, method actually so this is the uh, smallest approach if you have the bigger table then you can use this one uh, because this is the smallest approach and if you want to have uh, by that you can also go with that because that is also one method to actually create the data table and then we specify the option just like that and then we create the line chart so similarly you can see that uh, all the other things are similar to the previous one only this method is different which is line chart so we created bar chart pie chart and if I change this name to uh, line chart then that will also be created actually so let's see by changing it so you can see that it is actually creating that so this is very easy to use and easy to handle as well because uh, there are also other libraries we can use but in that we have to understand all those things so it is very easy to use the google charts so you can try this one if you want so you can also explore the documentation for more details i made you understand the basics like what are the basics to create the charts as well so this is it for this video. I hope you understood something. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the another one.